All right, we just left Pendrel Sound about an hour ago. Um, yeah, we've been up there for five or six nights. Can't quite remember now. Just coming back into Desolation Sound from uh, from Pendrel, and uh, we got to figure out where we're going to go for tonight. And, um, anyway, probably get caught up on a little bit of a little bit of news. Go find a place to get settled. Just heading down Waddington Channel right now. It's time to start working our way back toward home, so we have to think about our end game. There are some route choices and it's time to pay a bit closer attention to the weather at certain locations. We can work our way down the mainland side on the Sunshine Coast, down the Malaspina Strait, the same way we came, to which there are a number of interesting points to visit, on the way home. The other option is to cross the northern strait of Georgia and travel south down the Vancouver Island side, to which there are also a number of nice stops, but it does require better weather conditions as it is more exposed. After transiting the northern strait, we cross the Comox Bar and we'll stay in Comox for one night. Then we'll travel down Bain Sound to Tribune Bay on Hornby Island and stay there for a few days and then on to Nanaimo. This will be our preferred route, weather permitting. I brewed a haven here this morning. Uh, we came down from Pendrel yesterday and uh, yeah, I just popped in, popped the anchor at the far end of uh, Bruda Haven. Um, didn't bother Stern Tine, didn't need to, it's just not that busy, um, which is really nice. This is usually a really busy anchorage, but uh, um, but we're looking at the weather and we got about, uh, we got a little bit, a little bit left here. Um, I think we got to start making our way back towards, uh, back towards Victoria. Um, you know, we generally want to transit the open strait of Georgia when it's uh, reasonably nice weather. And eh, we're thinking about making a trip over towards Comox, maybe go over to Denman Island and Hornby Island on the way back. So I think today we're going to pull up the anchor, we're going to head to Refuge, uh, grab some water, grab a, grab a few things, and then we're going to maybe look towards tomorrow morning to head uh, start heading south. Um, we'll evaluate the rest of the today and tomorrow morning and we'll see what happens. All right, it's time to it's time to flash up. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go get this thing started. So those engines should start. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go get this anchor going. Here we go. Okay. 
So what we do here is we give hand signals. It's important when you're pulling the input to make sure that you're never uh, using the windlass to pull the boat. Um, the boat's far too heavy for the windlass. So you try to position the boat over, over the anchor. And even when you, uh, you get it to the point, you actually want to pull the anchor from the mud. Uh, so you're not using the windlass to do that either. This windlass has become a real issue on this trip, but that's for another video. Alright, so we're just coming out of Prudhoe Haven now. Looks like uh, the weather's cleared pretty nicely. And uh, isn't that the way when you got to start thinking about heading home? But the weather's usually nice up here in the summer anyway. Even when it's not nice, it's still nice. Yeah, it feels like a nice calm day though. Have you had a good trip? Yeah. What's your favorite part about this trip? Uh, probably the friends How about you, Hunter? Have you had a good trip? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You don't sound very excited. I What's your favorite part about this trip? Sleeping. I'm not going to get much of an interview out of Hunter. Desolation Sound. We're just about to pass Sarah Point here, which will up, which will put us uh, heading down the Sunshine Coast and shortly into the Copeland Islands here. Yeah, it's been a good trip up here so far, anyway, and, uh, and lots of places to see and things to do on the way back as well. But uh, looks like Desolation Sound for 2021 is complete. Well, we're just sort of getting ready to plot our course across um, the northern strait of Georgia here. Uh, we've just ducked in behind Harwood Island right now, and the uh, northwest is still blowing pretty good. Uh, sort of see it back there, sort of some white caps in blue. 
and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna kind of put along here, and um, it is the wind is dropping, but it is still uh, still pushing along pretty good, and uh, there's a pretty good swell out there right now. So we're gonna keep on going along the hardwood here towards northern Texada, and then we'll probably make our turn to cross, and hopefully should be over at uh, Comox in a couple hours then. We kind of took it easy behind uh, Harwood Island and sort of edged our way down to the north end of Texada. And um, although it is supposed to be easy, and I'm sure it will, it really has. And it's kind of about the same, but our angle of approach towards Comox is a lot better now. So we've decided to just push it across. So we're up at about nine, nine and a half knots. And uh, you know, it says the waves are only supposed to be about 23. They feel a little bit bigger, but. It's not too bad, it's not too rough or anything like that. And, uh, so, we should be in Comox in about an hour and a half. That shouldn't be too too bad. It's a little white cat, quite a few white caps out here. Uh, but the boat's handling pretty good. Put the tabs down a bit, just putting a little extra power on it. So, we'll continue on and hopefully it uh, stays about what it is or less. Cape Lazo. We're not too far, about two miles out from the buoy, and it should get better shortly thereafter. But yeah, it's definitely kind of steep and piling up. Quite a few white caps. Running up to about 10 knots here almost, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer anyway. got in uh, off, the, off the northern street of Georgia and tucked in behind Cape Lazo and uh, the seas are calming significantly. A little bit of a little bit of a rear quarter following sea here but it's uh, diminishing pretty quick. Uh, so we're just lining ourselves up with the bar crossing here uh, at Comox Bar. Uh, so Comox Bar is uh, off the end of Point Holmes all the way over to the north end of Denman, there's a very shallow bar with a uh, you know, sand bar with rocks and stuff like that. And there's a there's a very shallow uh, sand bar with kind of rocks and stuff that extends from Point Holmes all the way to the north end of uh, Denman and Sandy Island. And uh, so there's a very specific line marker, uh, set of line markers you got to cross to get across that. And uh, sometimes, especially in a southeasterly, it can be really rough across here. Uh, it's a little bit northwesterly, so it's actually pretty smooth. And we're just lining up the markers now. All right, we're lined up with the bar now, and I can see there's a few boats coming our way. Um, it looks like they're crossing the bar right now. Okay. 
press the bar and you can see that on the sounder here we're at 10 feet and we're right on the marks here anyway yeah pretty uh, pretty shallow across here even though we're a long way away from land marker here and then it should start dropping off again. coming in here it's actually just kind of nice um, a little nice little uh, break from slogging it across the street there this morning um, Kelly and McKenna they headed up to the store to go get a go get a few things and um, we'll probably just relax here tonight and then we'll uh, head down Bain Sound tomorrow morning and we may go to Henry Bay or we may go to Tribune Bay and uh, I've never been to Henry Bay before, but Tribune Bay I've been to, and it's uh, as long as you don't have the wind coming from the southeast, it's one of the nicest places you can you can go around here. So, if you're ever in passing through this area, it's worthwhile stopping in Comox. It's got all the amenities, and it's a great marina. Come on, fishing boats. Yeah. There's so many. Fishing boat, 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 fishing boat. Fishing boat. Fishing boat, fishing boat, fishing boat, fishing boat, fishing boat, fishing boat. We always enjoy stopping into Comox when coming south from desolation when possible. When we pass the afternoon away, we're fortunate enough to have friends from Courtney come down to the marina for the evening to visit. Such a nice time. Next time on MV Mechanicai. We get an early start out of Comox. We work our way down Bain Sound towards Hornby Island. And we spend a really nice time at Tribune Bay. Thank you for watching.